Imagine with me drinking a cup of tea while sitting on the balcony in the morning, and the house is perfumed by an insect that your mother ignited. What a feeling, right? But have you ever asked yourself how the sea flavor spread from the tea bag through a cup of hot water, and how the fragrance of the incense spreads in the whole house? If so, in this video, I will use my best endeavors to make the reason behind this so clear. Actually, the answer lies in what we call the Brownian motion. It is the fast and the random movement of particles in liquids and gases. To better understand the concept, we have to go back in time, precisely 193 years ago. Ready? Follow me. In 1827, the Scottish botanist Robert Brown published a study where he reported his observations about the random movements of small particles in pollen grains, as we can see here. But he wasn't able to explain it. So for that, we are going to turn to a physicist that you probably heard of, Albert Einstein. Using the kinetic molecular theory, which assumes that molecules and atoms are in continuous random movement, Albert outlined his understanding of the Brownian motion in 1905. Now, let's go back to the present and explain to you how the process actually works. Actually, fluids are made of very small particles called atoms or molecules. Imagine with me that you assist a football match. The players are kicking the ball to each other. Now, imagine that they are invisible. The ball will move in a very odd way, isn't it? In fact, the ball is a fine particle, and the players are the molecules or atoms that are bouncing off with each other according to some rules. So why does tea change the color of hot water and why we get the smell of the incest sticks in the air? When you are lighting an incest stick or putting the teaspoon in the boiled water, the air or water molecules move randomly, hit the fine particles of tea or incense, and collide with them from different directions. And due to this movement, you feel the cup's outer surface hot. When the tea molecules move, they make their way to the surrounding air around the cup, where they will transfer their heat, and that's what we call thermal convection. Now, let's try a simple experiment. So all what we need is two cups, warm or cold water, as well as some ink. We put few drops of ink in the both of the cups. For cold water, we can see that the ink is spreading slowly. But for warm water, the ink is spreading down very fast. What happened is that warm water has a high temperature, and its molecules move so fast, so the ink is spreading faster too. Similarly, since the cold water's molecules move slowly, the ink also spreads slowly. This phenomenon may look to you useless, however, it supported the modern atomic theory, and it turns out to be incredibly useful in a host of disciplines such as math, physics, biology, etc.